Hey there Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows 95. And in the months before the release of Windows 95 on the 24th of August 1995, Microsoft distributed a floppy disk promoting the OS in various PC magazines. It contained an interactive guide showcasing 95's new features and the ability for users to check their hardware and software compatibility with 95. This was known as the Windows 95 Interactive Demo, and it was designed for users currently using Windows 3.1, which had been released in 1992, and we're going to have a look at this in this special video. So here we are in Windows 3.1, and technically this is actually Windows 3.114 Workgroups, and I'll just show you this here. So this is the most up-to-date version of Windows 3.1. So as you can see, Windows for Workgroups, version 3.11 or 3.11, and if you're wondering what the four workgroups thing means, this was a reference to the fact that this version of 3.1 was actually an update for the original version, and it had better networking support, basically better networking capabilities. So I've already inserted the Windows 95 interactive demo disk into the drive, so let's have a look at this now. So if we go into main here, and then file manager, and this was basically the Windows 3.1 version of Windows Explorer, or what we now know as File Explorer. And as you can see, we've gone straight to the floppy drive because this was the last directory that I was looking at. And we've got the setup file here. So let's just run this. So as you can see, it says Microsoft Windows 95 demo. Welcome, this program will install the Windows 95 demo onto your computer. Press the OK button to start the installation. You can press the cancel button if you do not want to install this software. Uh, obviously we do, so let's press OK. And then we get this notice, this interactive demo, the software is provided for demonstration purposes only. You may make and use copies of the software provided that it's not distributed for commercial purposes or for profit without the express permission of Microsoft. It may not be modified and all copyright is basically Microsoft. So I'm fine with that. Let's press OK. And then we've got basically another kind of same thing, like a bit like a license agreement. Obviously, I'm going to read all of this in detail going to accept and then we're going to choose a directory that we're going to install it so the default is w95 demo and that's fine with me so we'll go with that and oh now this is a curveball i don't actually have enough free space okay panic over i've just removed some files that i didn't need and now we've gone to the next part of setup and this is now asking what program manager group we'd like so this is basically the 3.1 version of the start menu folder so yeah we'll go for the default one that's fine um, okay, I'm gonna let it extract the files. And I believe this has now restarted Windows 3.1. As you can see, it can be a little bit glitchy, but no problem. Uh, we'll just, uh, let's just control alt delete this and I'm sure it'll all come back and no harm done. Okay, so as I suspected, that was just a buggy restart there, but here we are back in Windows 3.1. Now, as you can see, by default, upon re-entering the system, we've got this new Microsoft Windows 95 demo program manager group that's appeared. So let's launch the demo. So Microsoft proudly presents this preview of Windows 95. How would you like to view the demo? Try it myself or have the computer show me. Okay, I'm going to go for try it myself. I'm feeling adventurous today, so let's do it this way. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually, guys, I'm really excited about this. I have no idea why. I think it's probably because I've never actually seen this before. So even though obviously I know about 95 and how amazing it was when it came out, um, I've never actually seen this. So welcome to the world of Microsoft Windows 95. With Windows 95, you'll unlock the potential of personal computing so you can work easier and faster. You'll explore exciting new possibilities and even have fun doing it. Wow, now that is a big promise. Okay, so let's go for next. Windows 95 is designed to make using your computer easier, whether you're at work, at home, or on the road. It has a rich set of features, giving you multiple ways to do the same task, to accommodate any level of expertise. In this demonstration, some of the basic features of Windows 95 are demonstrated automatically and others you can try yourself. Just follow the pointers when they appear and proceed as directed in the text. To advance the demo, click the next button when it flashes. We recommend that you choose Quick Tour first. It takes about eight minutes. Okay. So we've got like a little kind of introductory kind of video here. And we've got our taskbar and the start button. And I mean, in case you're not aware about this, these were massive features in Windows 95. 
So they debuted in Windows 95. And I've done a whole video actually about the process of the development of the start menu and taskbar, which I'll put a card do at this point in the video in case you want to check that out. Um, but anyway, back to our demo. So you can see we've got basically this mock-up of the 95 UI here. So like I said, you've got the taskbar and start menu. I'm assuming none of this is clickable. No, it's not. And you've got your uh, desktop icons. And then we've got like a little main menu text. So we've got a few options here. We've got the 95 quick tour, additional features and enhancements, and hardware and software compatibility check. So actually, let's go for the tour first. I think this is the main thing that we're going to want to look at. So nice pun on the start button here. And this was used a lot back in the day for marketing 95. Um, okay, so Windows 95 makes working with your computer easier. For example, let's see how much easier and faster it is to open and find programs and documents. Okay, let's do that. We'll begin at the start button. It's at the lower left corner of the screen. It's always available so you can use it at any time. To open a program, click the button, move the mouse up to programs, and then we're going to open Microsoft Word. Okay, so let's do this. So this is actually kind of similar to the tour that was included with 95, where it kind of walks you through how to use this at the time brand new user interface. So just imagine coming from 3.1, if you were a normal user and you didn't know anything about the development of 95, you didn't know this was coming, and this whole new UI was just launched on you, you will have had to have probably learned how you know a little bit about how to use it even though given the start button itself is kind of explanatory right you can kind of work out what that's meant to do but yeah still so that's all it takes to open a program the program manager is gone but all your program groups are still there and they're easier to reach okay uh, so here you can see the new version of Word. Um, you'll also find that 95 does a great job supporting your existing Windows and DOS programs. So obviously this would have been a massive thing for people at the time as well. You would have needed to obviously have had the confidence to know that your current software that you you know may have depended on would still work. So that's good to know. Okay, and closing a program is simple. Just press the X button. So again, this was a new feature in 95. So 95 reduces the number of steps to get things done. So you'll get all your work done faster. Now that's a big promise. Okay, so uh, suppose you're working on a graphic, but can't remember where you saved it. Let's see how easy it is to locate and open it. Okay, so back to the start button. There's a recurring theme here. Now we're going to go to documents and we want to open cup. Okay, so you don't need to search through Program Manager or File Manager anymore. With Windows 95, you just located and opened a document with only two mouse clicks. So, I mean, yeah, again, imagine, it just imagine how much of a step up this was for normal computer users, how much easier this new interface made computing, um, you know, compared to 3.1, where, like it says, you will have had to have probably gone into File Manager and started looking through, you know, various folders to work out where you'd save that file. Um, or you could have maybe launched the app in 3.1 and then try to open it from the app. But again, you will have had to have manually located it in whatever folder you happen to save it in. Um, okay, so whenever you open a program, document or window, a button representing it appears on the taskbar, the grey bar at the bottom of the screen. The taskbar buttons show you which programs you have open, making it easier to switch among them. And this was a big problem with Windows 3.1. A lot of users complained that they didn't know what apps they had running or how many instances of an app were running because it wasn't very easy to see uh you know visually on the screen especially when you had lots of windows open what apps you actually had running but obviously with 95 on the taskbar that solved that problem because you could have as many windows open as you wanted to and you would still have a little indication down here of what exactly was running so that was really useful now let's minimize this document to the taskbar. So yeah, we're going to click on the minimize button. So yeah, that will obviously minimize it. Um, so suppose you want to find a document, but you can't recall its name or in which folder it is. All you remember is that the word coffee appears. Okay, here's an easy way to find it. So we're going to go back to start to find. And now we're going to use the new search function from 95's start menu. And we're going to put in the word coffee. I love coffee. Don't know about you guys. Uh, so find now and you'll get a list of files that have that word in them uh, okay and we're going to open open house flyer perfect um so now let's minimize so we can access it later okay so that's going to go minimize to the taskbar now no matter where you store your files or programs with 95 it's easy to access them quickly
Okay, so you'll find switching between programs is easier than ever since the taskbar never leaves the screen. Let's see how switching works. On the taskbar, click on the word button. Okay, I will do that. Now let's click on paint. Okay, so yep, yeah, that was quite easy. And it says you can try switching again so we can carry on having a go at this. Let's actually minimize something. No, so we can just switch here. Perfect. So one of the biggest changes in 95 is that now your Windows PC can handle multitasking even better. This means you can have multiple programs working simultaneously. For example, you can print one document while you copy another. Okay. Uh, so a document's being copied. Now click next to see multitasking in action. Okay. So while the copying proceeds, the open house flyer is being printed. Okay. With multitasking, you can get more things done at once. It's not a miracle, it's Windows 95. So, I mean, actually, I mean, considering this was on a three and a half inch floppy disk, right? This is actually quite, it's quite a lot of information, really, considering it was, you know, uh, on a floppy disk. So we were limited to about 1.4 megabytes. Um, okay, so it makes organizing your computer remarkably easy. I mean, we even have like these little animations, don't we, every now and then? So let's take a look at how the My Computer feature organizes things for you. So this was another new feature of 95, My Computer, or it's now known as this PC in modern Windows, but it started here, pardon the pun. Okay, so the My Computer window contains all the drives on your computer, as well as control panel and printers folders. So we're going to click on Robert's drive. I wonder who Robert is. Uh, so all the drives, files, folders and programs appear in the window. Here you can see another way 95 improves your computing. Your file and folder names can be up to 250 characters long. Yeah, so another big feature before this, you were limited to 8 characters in your file name. Uh, let's change an old DOS name to a new more descriptive one. Okay. Oh, and they just showed that happening. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. So using the right mouse button is another way to find out more about a file. Okay. Do we get to have a go at this? Yes, we do. So you will see a menu that gives you additional options. So again, another new feature in 95, right click context menus. I mean, guys, there's just so many of these simple things that are still in Windows. They all started in 95. It's kind of hard to even believe, but they kind of feel like they've always been there, right? But obviously they haven't. They had to have started somewhere and it was in Windows 95. So you can use the right mouse button on virtually any element within Windows 95, giving you a quick and easy shortcut to make you more efficient. Okay, so 95 gives you another way to view and work with your files called the Windows Explorer. So this replaced the file manager from 3.1. And like it says here, it actually is a lot better in my opinion. Um, okay, so everything you work with on your computer uh, appears in a single window. Here's how to reach it. So from start, we're gonna go to programs and then Windows Explorer. Uh, the Explorer, the Explorer, okay. The Explorer makes it easy to reach virtually anything in your computing environment. Try clicking on the plus to the left of Robert's drive, okay. The contents window shows you all the folders on Robert's C drive, okay. Now it's easier to copy files, okay. No more tiling windows. Think of the Explorer as a highly efficient way to manage your files, okay. Ooh, customizing your system. Okay, I'm excited about this. If you follow the channel for a long time, you'll know that I am a sucker for customization. Uh, okay, so 95 gives you great new tools to personalize your computer. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. It's easy to customize your screen background. Try choosing a new one right now. Okay, click on start. Settings, control panel. Double click on the display icon. Browse through the wallpapers by clicking on their names. Oh my gosh, we get to look at them as well. Click apply to see your... Oh, okay. Wow, and I think we can actually choose what one we want. Wow, I kind of... I love this. So it's not just like there's only one outcome here. Can we, like, change this? No, so we can just pick a wallpaper. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm going to go over... Oh, so we can only choose these. Uh... Oh, and if you double click them, you can apply them straight away. I'm going to go for... I'm actually going to go for gold weave, I think. So let's OK that. Nice. OK, and then it gets rid of it instantly. Thanks. Uh, so when you're not sure how to perform a task or you want to try some new things, the new help feature will show you the way. OK, we're going to go to help. So start again. 
and help. Uh, to get help changing the date on your computer, we enter the word date. Now choose changing your computer's date. Okay. Now you no longer need to open a help window and write everything down to remember it. Here you can hit the button. Okay. And it takes you instantly to the topical function you choose. Okay. Getting help is this easy whenever you need it. Now, I obviously this is this is really good again for new users and especially with the massive user interface change in 95. And it kind of just makes me a little bit sad because I feel like with, for example, Windows 8 as a big example, that really needed this level of guidance for new users because the UI change was so massive. But unfortunately, Microsoft, for whatever reason, didn't choose to do that. And it created obviously a lot of problems for them afterwards with you know the backlash and everything um okay so you've now completed the guided portion of the 95 demonstration click next to go to the menu and then click on a topic to find out more about 95 okay so yeah that was a really nice you know considering it was on what like i said one three and a half inch disc it came with magazines it was a nice little demo of basically all the you know all the big main changes that you'd have to know about and you know like like you saw it talked you through all of those things in a really easy to follow way Okay, ooh, so what's this? So these are, I think this is the next feat, uh, like the next part of the main menu. Yeah, so obviously you've got little, kind of like little extra little tours for all these extra things that I guess wouldn't be necessary for all users, which is why they're optional extras here. Um, let's have a look at plug and play, because this was another massive change with 95. So it used to be difficult and time consuming to install add-on devices like printers. Now 95 makes it easier. The plug and play capability makes it easy to add new hardware in many cases just by plugging it in. So again, for normal users, imagine how much of a change for the better this was that you could just plug in something and it would just work, right? No need to worry about drivers or anything like that. 95 would take care of it for you. And it's just drawing your attention to this. If you look for this logo, if you look for it at the time on, you know, peripherals, then that would let you know that it was compliant with plug and play so that it would be theoretically quite easy to install. Okay, now let's have a look at hardware and software compatibility, because I think you can actually have this um, piece of software check your hardware and software for compatibility, hence the name. So let's see. Okay, so let's have a look. At minimum, 95 requires this processor, four megabytes of memory. Okay, so you can create a Windows 95 checklist. Ooh, okay, right, let's do this. The checklist contains several pages of information. Is my computer ready? Okay, your computer cannot run 95 yet. Oh no, what a shame. The checklist found problems with, oh no, look, it's our old friend, the free space on your hard disk. I'm sure I can fix that, don't worry. Um, okay, so processor, we're ready, that's good. Nice. We have enough memory. That's good. In fact, we've got plenty for the time. Um, okay, but we need to free up some space. Okay. So it requires at least 15 megabytes. Okay. So yeah, and it's given us some options for how to free up space. That's fine. I can do that myself. Um, okay. So uh, 95 comes with email and fax features, blah, blah, blah. Click the option you want. Do you want to see more information? Yes. Okay, so we've got the Microsoft Network, an easy to use service that connects you to the internet. We don't have enough free space for that. Exchange, that's kind of like Outlook. So yeah, email inbox, don't have enough space for that. Fax, obviously sending faxes. Um, office, so it may not have enough free space for Office. Why is it now deciding that it can't decide whether we have enough free space? Okay, so yeah, that's fine. I mean, Office didn't come with 95. What's it saying here? Yeah, so I mean, you'd have to purchase Microsoft Office separately for 95, but yeah, obviously there was a new version that they're referencing there. And that's the end of the checklist. How exciting. Okay, let's, since they've mentioned it, let's have a look what they've said about Office here. Just very quickly, one last little thing to look at. Um, so, let's see. So it includes Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, which apparently is a registered trademark, but the other ones aren't and Microsoft Schedule Plus. Um, so we've got Office Binder. Oh, okay, that was actually not as much as I thought. Okay, and finally, I just wanna have a look at Microsoft Plus. 
So this was an add-on pack for 95 and it was there were analogous versions for later versions of Windows as well. Um, and yeah, they had some like extra tools, some desktop themes and that sort of thing. So let's have a look. So we've got the system agent. 11 themes to make your system look great. Oh, can we try out a theme? Oh no, only icons, really? Could we not have had, could we not, could we not have fitted the dangerous creatures wallpaper on this disc? Just so that we could have the wallpaper. No. Oh, so disappointing. Okay, you'll also get Internet Explorer. Oh, sorry. You'll also get the Internet Explorer, a sophisticated worldwide web browser integrated into the 95 environment. Okay. Um, remember when you get Windows 95, okay, energize it, energize its full power potential. Wow, I love these. These are like corporate words, guys. These are like, yes, energize your potential by adding Microsoft Plus, the perfect companion to 95. I love it. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to the main menu. And actually, I think that was everything. So yeah, we did the quick tour. We had to look at some of the additional features and enhancements. And obviously, we've done the compatibility check. So basically, this system is compatible if I just freed up a bit of hard drive space. So what happens if we press back here? Oh, it just goes back to your last. Okay, that should have been obvious. Okay, and let's exit. I am sure I want to quit. Um, okay, so before we go, it, it will just prompt us to do this compatibility check if we haven't already. But um, let's just see, actually, if it is exactly the same thing. Yeah, it is. So let's not do that. Okay. Okay. And copyright 1995. Nice. If you choose, you can delete the files for 95 demo uh, after exiting the demo. Quit then delete files. We'll just quit because I just want to actually see what happens if you uninstall it as well. It's probably not going to be anything exciting, but let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just simple, right? It's just going to remove those files. So yeah, that was the Windows 95 interactive demo. And I really hope you enjoyed that little look at that quite small piece of Windows 95 history. But again, I think it's interesting, right? You don't see a lot of things about, you know, these little demos that you get with magazines and stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. I'll see you then.